Oh, no, I understand, but I just run. I just want to run away. <laughs> <laughs> that's a horrible mess there. Right. That's horrible. <laughs> wow. Now, here's the thing now. A few months ago, I had the chance to participate in the Node.js Collaborator Submit organized by the OpenJS Foundation in Dublin. I want to take a step back and talk about how widely used open source projects are maintained these days, specifically Node.js. If it's the first time you came here, my name is Tony Go, I'm a software developer and open source maintainer, and on this channel, I talk about my journey in computer science and open source. I use open source software daily. The transpiler, the runtime and the framework are all open source projects. But who maintains them and how? The hobbyist is where I sat for a long time. You are passionate about a project and would like to understand how it works. You contribute in your free time according to your energy and motivation. You don't get money, but you meet terrific people and help the project grow, improving your own experience. At the same individual level, you can sponsor contributors. It could be exhausting and unfair as companies will create value with your work without supporting it. But fortunately, all companies don't act like that. In some cases, a company could back up your project. Some companies understand how open source works and decide to support the community. It could take several forms. A company supports a project by allocating resources for the maintenance or extension of the project. Or, a company decides to support a particular feature and its maintenance. We can take the example of Node.js, which is supported by a couple of companies like Postman, Nearform, Datadog, NodeSource, Red Hat, or IBM. And sorry for the forgotten ones. But sometimes open source projects are born directly in companies. As you, as a developer, face some issues, companies at their scale also face problems and could decide to create a software to tackle them. If the project works well internally, the companies could open source it. For example, Facebook creates React and Jest and still maintains them today. I also want to mention another model, Clinic.js, which was initially owned by Neoform and now has its own organization. The company still supports the project, but the community is standalone. Why would a company like to share its code with the rest of the world? I don't have a firm answer, but in some cases, I think that it's helped the company to build its brand. We have talked about individual contributors and companies, but we should have mentioned foundations. A foundation is a category of non-profit organization that typically provides funding and support for other organizations. It could be funding, but also supporting the community, providing a way to meet each other and exchange about projects. For example, the Collaborator Submit at Dublin was an initiative of the OpenJS Foundation. During this meeting, I met a lot of members of the community. We also talked about the future of Node.js and the community's health. Um, also, Node.js is mostly, as somebody noted, is mostly a mature project. So I would expect less bugs. Okay, so if less people open issues, it might just be that there are less issues to be. To be it's fantastic that open source projects could find support within the ecosystem. But as far as I saw, even extensively used projects like Node.js still need help to push significant new features. My opinion is that the thing we could improve, it's the culture. As a developer, I think it's a part of our job to spread the open source culture as much as possible. But how? There are no magic tricks, but you can try these few ideas. First, you can raise awareness about open source in general and try to see how your company could support open source projects that they use internally. Look at this project and see if maintenance is needed. When you need a new feature, advocate to push it in the open source project itself rather than creating your own internal abstraction. If you contribute to an open source project, communicate on stuff you have made and the impact it could have on the company. Voila! I hope that this video will motivate you to spread the open source culture around you. If you like this video and the open source in general, please let me know in the comments. See ya! Hi people, you have to know that we're not only coding here, but yeah. we make really interesting stuff and that Raphael beats me. <laughs> what is the final score? How do you count? Uh, you have to count all the... Yeah. Next time. Next time.